Hey YouTube, this is Bosswad147. Uh, this has been going around for a while where people think the only way to get a clean dirt bike clean is with a uh, pressure washer. Well, uh, today I just wanted to show you that you can get a dirt bike as clean as can be without spending 150 bucks on a good pressure washer. Uh, as you can see, my dirt bike is very dirty. All up under the fenders, there's just mud caked everywhere. Today, oh yeah, I also got a uh, Bark Busters. Black. MSR. So yeah, today I'm just gonna show you how to get a very clean dirt bike at a very low cost. Like, my back rim is red. It's brown now. Instead of paying $150, you get, uh, you go to Walmart or basically any store with a cleaning aisle and buy a brush. Uh, I have this one right here for plastic and that one there for like metal. Simple green cleaning agent. I don't really know what it is. It's not uh, like what it's in, what's in it. It's just like a green liquid. It's non-toxic. Uh, you can buy it at Trader Horn for $4.59. That's just for my chain, just some old gear oil that's like five years old and smells like poop. Then that's my final creation. Austin Beals, uh, 13,000 RPM 342, kind of gave me the idea to start all this, so I kind of give him credit because I normally just sprayed it off with a hose. But uh, this right here is a combination of about two inches water, about eight inches of simple green, uh, then a lot of the dish soap, like I put Orange Dawn in there. And then a little bit of uh, window cleaner. That would be the Windex Multitask. Put it all in a bottle, you get to save this. Because that alone doesn't get it as good as this. This kind of suds a little more. And you also need a hose. But just a regular hose, no pressure washer. And I'm going to put my camera on that tripod. So yeah, uh, I'm going to speed up the video now while I clean off the dirt bike. So yeah, you can see that the dirt bike's pretty clean. All the plastics are good. The only thing that, uh, even the metal engine, the only thing that isn't clean is like the sprocket, back of the sprocket, and the hub's a little bad. 
and a tire, but I mean, there's no sense in cleaning a tire because, like, I mean, you're just going to get it muddy, and uh, you should always test drive your bike right after you wash it just to, like, uh, get any water that's sitting on a steel part of the engine so it doesn't rust or, like, any uh, water in the carb, it'll blow it right out. It doesn't hurt the engine, really. So yeah, here's my perfectly cleaned off bike. I mean, it's not 100% spotless. I did this while I was videotaping, and I got freaking prank calls and stuff. So, uh, frank prank phone calls. MSR Bark Busters, really good. Except, uh, here's a little thing of concern. This is what it's supposed to look like on the, on the, uh, brace. That's what it's supposed to look like. The bolt's supposed to fit in. This brace came from factory without any threads in it at all. So what I had to do is stick a long bolt through it and put a nut with the Loctite on it. Same with the bottom. And I mean it holds, but it just freaking paid 55 bucks. I don't want it to do that. So yeah, that's how you clean off your bike good if you don't have a pressure washer. And uh, stay tuned for this coming weekend because I... Uh, I'm going to attempt a 1,200 foot hill climb on the good old YZ250F, so uh, those are the two things I use to clean my bike, Bosbad 147, see you later.